I'm so excited about this. So what is it like to date me? <laughs> Peta is my first emotional support animal. It's like three days off and he's not feeling very good. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know if I've done a good morning yet because I can't tell the difference between this vlog and my Instagram stories. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna do my makeup today. I know I haven't been wearing any makeup, but I just got my bags back, so. Uh, uploaded all my vlog footage. I got a ton of stuff done today. I did my entire morning routine. I'm gonna teach Luke how to use Notion and then teach you guys at the same time because it's just changed my life, like absolutely. It's so great. And then I worked on some of my homework for my, my life coach and I did a little bit of writing, journaling. Luke and I did some breath work. I think the only thing I'm missing now is a little bit of fitness, so I'm hoping to go to my parents today and lift some weights. Yeah, it's good for you. Um, cuddled with the cat today, played with the cat, played with Yuri. So Luke was just feeding me these. They're persimmons. I ordered them because they're in season and they're so delicious. So good, so good. Mm. Finished my shower, blow dry my hair because we're gonna go on a walk. But I'm gonna eat some bee pollen and finish this persimmon and then take my vitamins. Do you want focus? Mm hmm. Mm. We're gonna do a PETA cuddle session. I got him this yesterday. It's like a little ball and a scratching thing and a little bee or something. He likes to hang out under here, I'll show you. Okay, where is he? There he is. PETA! Crazy. He's trying to make all his time with me just really positive. And I'm slowly winning him over. After we had that long travel day, guys, I swear, he's like a new man. He likes to give kisses now. He never used to do that. What? Like, Use your butt. I got more to Because I love you. Hi. I got exactly what I wanted, guys. A cat that loves cuddles and loves belly rubs and the blue eyes. It's so cute. Hi. Peta is my first emotional support animal. While I like understand the concept, this is the first time that I've actually had one. I always thought that it was just a way <laughs> to a degree for people to get pets on a plane. But on my recent trip, I was like really starting to stress out when they told me that my layover was gonna be seven hours in Montreal after I missed my flight because of all the customs and bags things. And I just was trying to remain calm, but I just still had that general feeling of like stress. And it was more just like feeling bad for PETA because I knew that he would have to be in the carrier for a longer period of time. But when we were like hanging out and waiting for the layover, like I'd open his crate and I'd pet him and I could immediately feel 
all of the tension in my heart, the anxiety across my body and skin, like it just, it just like left my body. And I felt myself become so much more relaxed and at peace with the situation and accepting. And I was like, holy crap, like this little being is legitimately emotionally supporting me. And I was so grateful for him. So it totally brought my heart rate down and made me feel more comfortable. And yeah, it was pretty powerful. So yay for emotional support animals. I think especially now with like the average mental health of the country being like the worst it's ever been. It's so important to find ways to feel comfortable and safe and loved and appreciated and animals are just such a nice way to do that. I really appreciate this little monkey. I didn't put it in the vlog but we went to Vietnamese yesterday and got, what did you get? It was a beef stew with mm -hmm. vermicelli <clears throat> and then I had a chicken curry stew thing, soup with vermicelli. So now for leftovers, Luke has cracked two eggs in it. Oh wow, it's so hot. Mmm, -hmm. yum. It's delicious. It's delicious. So Luke, you haven't really talked much on the vlog. Is there anything that you want to say to the viewers? Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, Luke and I are very similar. Beings, soup. Sometimes too similar. We have the exact same taste in food. Exact same taste. Like in exact. Food. I'll go to the menu and I'll I'll think of, like I'll look exactly what stands out to me, I'm like, okay, I already know, know what I'm getting. And it's like oh, two or three man. things. He's like, okay, so I'll have, I would like to pick between these two or three things. I'm like, those are my two or three things. Every time. <laughs> Makes it really easy. Yeah, it does, because then he can get whatever I don't order, and then I can get whatever he doesn't order. So what is it like to date me? <laughs> it's a blast. I feel like my vlogs and like stream and stuff know me as like, can he plays? Yeah. But not as Kristen. So when I've got when I get boys that come into my chat at Kitty, you're my dream girlfriend. I'm like, you have you don't know what it's <laughs> like to date Kristen. So what's it like to date Kristen? No two days are the same. Really? That's a, okay. Yeah. You think that? Absolutely. Is it ever with people? I think so. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, that's called bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's cool. loving and caring and kind and sweet. It's great dating you. Oh, thank you. I have Edinburgh a bias opinion really after three years. No, I think the bias could go negative too after three years. It could go negative after three years. <laughs> it's true. not necessarily a positive bias. Well, like I know that. I'm not going to finish the whole thing. So I'm gonna take the best parts of whatever I can. Oh, that, by the way, that's exactly what it's like to date Kristen. Yeah. That's a metaphor for most of my life. Mm-hmm. Not gonna all the way. I'll go some of the way, but I'll make sure that the way that I go, I get all the best parts all the, best of the parts. whole way. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's real. Yuri, I love you. Goodbye. If you have leftover, honestly, just put it in a pan the next day, add some eggs to it, chef's kiss. I'm so excited about this. Like, so, like, deep down, cotton candy girl excited. The snow outside. Mm. I don't get this growing up in California. Nope. I'm actually really happy about it, too, because we rarely get white Christmases in Kelowna. So, Luke just called me into Pita's room, and there's, like, this brown stuff all over the bed. We think he threw up. Yeah, Luke took a photo because we're gonna send it to our admin with the FIP stuff. It looks like blood, but it's his food that he threw up. Um, so yeah, 
I think just the few days that he had off of the meds, it was like three days off, uh, and he's not feeling very good, sadly. So we're gonna give him his injections since we found the bags every 12 hours, and hope that just puts everything it's back, back into track. its place. <sighs> time in the snow my favorite what you doing babe Ooh, look good <laughs> how was it Nice yeah. <laughs> Woo Gotta hold it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Good job. How was it? Oh, it's a little chilly. Just a little bit. Ooh. That was your second time though, so I think the second ah, one's hard. It's too easier? No. Uh, second time is easier getting in the snow, harder getting back in the hot tub. Nice. Yeah, it stings a little bit more. Oh. Not what did you bring? Right. All right, so here, here is, here's your snacking options <laughs> with dietary restrictions in mind. You have pistachios, mm -hmm. deshelled, cashews, uh, smoked mackerel, anchovies, sauerkraut, and then a banana, and then I options to put on the banana. Honey, peanut butter, and raspberry jam. Wow, thank you, Luke. You're welcome. celebration. I feel like holidays are evolving and we're evolving with them and to me like togetherness feels like it's something to be celebrated mm -hmm. and kind of like the togetherness. Yeah, and like togetherness. All, all the years we've spent together like kind of like tussling and having fun and laughing and arguing and you know it's just like this accumulated moment we're living in of our histories together and apart and I just think yeah, it's beautiful anytime we all find each other back together in one place. It's just, it's Thank really you. special. So I'm Yay. so happy to be here with yes. all of you. Cheers. 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 Great toast. Cheers. I love it. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, we broke a glass. Oh, oh yeah? So I'm back in the ignition. Nobody really dies. Okay. But okay. On the inside of my upper lid. So oh, my mom, disco ball. my mom got glass in her eye. So my dad is helping her out with his cool glasses. Hope you're okay, mom. Love yeah, you. I'll be fine. <laughs>